America's rivers connect the country, providing most Americans and businesses with a supply of fresh water. Unfortunately, our rivers are facing significant crisis. The environmental group American Rivers unveiled its annual list of the most endangered rivers, and the trouble spans the entire country. Rivers from coast to coast and border to border are endangered. This year's list includes the Tar Creek in Oklahoma, the Los Angeles River, Arizona San Pedro River, the Lower Kern River in California, the mighty Mississippi River, the Coosa River in the southeastern U.S., Maine's Atlantic Salmon Rivers, the Mobile River in Alabama, and the Snake River in the Pacific Northwest. And the most endangered river, the Colorado River, which might not be that big of a surprise. The Colorado River provides water for 40 million Americans, or at least it's supposed to. The mega drought gripping the western United States has dramatically reduced the river's inflow, combined with the demands of people and farms. The situation on the Colorado River is, is not good right now. Um, water levels are low. Shortages are starting. The drought is the worst in 1,200 years. The group behind the list says that's a big part of the problem. But it also blames outdated water management policies. The Colorado does not make it to the end of the Gulf of Mexico. It dries up. The river feeds the Lake Powell Reservoir, which is at historically low levels and just a few feet away from shutting down the Glen Canyon Dam, which means less water for communities up and down the river. What we can do is change our management policies to acknowledge we have a river that does not have the flows it used to have. But it's not just climate change and drought threatening the rivers. Man-made dams, pollution, and too much water withdrawals all hurting the rivers. The common thread, they're all directly tied to human actions. In the Northwest, the Snake River is on the list again this year. The four lower snake dams are causing an ecological catastrophe with the salmon populations. And to the Gulf Coast, coal plant waste is polluting the Mobile River in Alabama. An American River says the pollution is overwhelmingly threatening minority communities. The dirtiest part of the river are communities that have diverse folks or tribal nations. While this all sounds dire, there is hope. Rivers are dynamic. Over time, the environment can heal itself as long as humans don't interfere. And for the Colorado River, it's going to take multiple successive years of average or above average inflow to get out of the situation we're in. Caused by government policies and human created climate change. When we drove in, we were shocked by what we found and what we didn't find. I want to show you this video. I shot this on my phone. This is Lone Rock Beach, except there's no lake. The lake is gone. You've probably seen this rock in pictures before. It is on televisions and in on television shows and in movies. This is an area where you used to be able to drive right up and camp and go swimming. You could take your boat from there and boat all the way down to the Glen Canyon Dam a couple miles. You can't do that now. The lake is gone. Jay and Alex, I've been covering drought for a long time, but when we got here and you see how desperate the situation is and that the entire lake is gone and where I'm at should be way underwater, it really kind of hits home how bad the situation in the Southwest really is.